mid show my I was like, Oh no, like it doesn't sound right. So I run in the back and my parents are there. My dad runs in the back with me. I'm like, Dad, I got it and the other band's back there. I'm like, Uh, oh, somebody fix my bass and then they just hand me their bass which is like way bigger and it's hanging way lower and I can't do that. So I had to play the rest of the show with someone else's big bass just sitting on the amp. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Three Gigs, the podcast that tells the stories of three shows that have had a profound effect on a performer's life and career. Their very first show, their best show, and their worst show. I'm your host, Dominic Davi, and today my guests are Alexandra Mort and Cheyenne Avant from the band Night School. Night School formed in 2013 out of Oakland, California, and they started work on songs that were going to be in the vein of 60s style bands like The Crystals, The Shirelles, and The Shangri-Las. After releasing a split EP with fellow Graveface Records artist Dot called Carousel, they released their EP Heartbeat in 2014, and followed that with their debut full-length Blush in 2016. Now, Night School is a band that I discovered somewhat accidentally online, but I was really happy I did. Their songs feature a mix of a garage rock sound uh, with reverb heavy vocals and deceptively complex harmonies. It's essentially doo-wop garage rock, which is what they describe themselves as, and I think that's appropriate. I kind of loved it, so I wanted to know more about them, and thankfully their guitarist vocalist Alexandra and their bassist vocalist Cheyenne both made some time to speak with me and tell me a few stories about their concerts. And starting, as always, with their very first show. All right, so our first show. Um, so feel free to add to the Cheyenne. Okay. <laughs> um, our first show was um, at the rickshaw shop in San Francisco. Oh, nice. Um, and um, we were really nervous. Um, my first show ever, yeah. Cheyenne's first show that she ever played in her life. Um, and I don't know if it was sold out, but if not, it was pretty close. We were opening for, um, for Were, um, a band I used to be in. And um, let me think, what else do I have to say about that show? I didn't really feel prepared necessarily, but we had the opportunity to play and we were excited to do it. So we said, yeah, and we did it. Oh, I have some stories. And Cheyenne has a story. <laughs> <laughs> so like it's my first show I'm already really nervous and I either A forgot how to play the songs or B my bass didn't work or fell out of tune or something I don't know which I probably forgot the notes <laughs> but mid show my I was like oh no like it doesn't sound right so I run in the back and my parents are there my dad runs in the back with me I'm like dad I got it and the other band's back there. I'm like, oh, somebody fix my bass. And then they just hand me their bass, which is like way bigger and it's hanging way lower and I can't do that. So I had to play the rest of the show with someone else's big bass just sitting on the amp. Oh, yeah, after no. panicking. That was funny. I was that really was confused. Fun. I had no idea why she was running away. Um, <laughs> You're like, and some of my band is running away off the stage <laughs> yeah. right now. Goodbye. Next song, I'm like, all right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, um, this is going so yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it was, it was. I think it was a good show overall. I mean, we were all really nervous, um, but we did it and we were happy and it was cool. Yeah, <laughs> we had fun. 
<laughs> oh, our guitarist at that time was like making out with some guy in that green. Oh yeah, that's right. That was <laughs> some random person. Yeah, we found some random guy to make out with. She's not in the band anymore. No, she's not. <laughs> Somebody decided to have yeah. a lot of fun that day. I, I yeah yeah. So, uh, that's a hell of a trial by fire, especially for her first show ever. That's that's pretty much what we did yeah. to Kate. Like we we got her to do our first show. Her very she's never been in a band before in her life, and then she, oh, wow. yeah, and she just charmed us. <laughs> like she just was the right person. But yeah. her first show was a sold out or close to sold out show, and and it was like. You know, she was just terrified, the poor thing. But she did it. So I mean, you did it, and you and you were able to do it with problems, like because I've I've I'm a bassist. I've had that. I've had my bass suddenly go out, and you're like, I don't have a backup plan in place for this. Yeah, yeah. I think my dad was more worried than I was. <laughs> that's what that's what that's what happens. Is he a musician too? One of the things. Yeah, well, sort of, kind of like a garage musician. Mm -hmm. I got you. <laughs> um, and then one other thing that I remember about that show is, um, like, in the green room at the rickshaw, you know, everyone kind of, like, doodles and graffitis their band name or whoever's band name. Mm -hmm. And we did that. So now whenever we've gone back there, there we are from our first show. <laughs> That's so awesome. I, I love it. Was it weird to play with a band that you were in before? You obviously, we're on good terms, so that's good. No, yeah, it wasn't weird at all. I'm really good friends with them all, so mm -hmm. it was really cool. Uh, that's so, I feel like since bands are such marriages and sometimes it's sometimes so hard. Like, I have bands that worked that, that did end well and everybody's still cool. And then I have bands that are literally like a high school romance where everyone's just like, hmm, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, our drummer actually, our drummer recently quit the band and it was oh. like, hurtful i guess it was like oh ouch yeah but um but we're still cool with her and we only have a new drummer now so oh yeah. that's good i did i did notice the picture i'm i'm not gonna lie i did notice photos went from three to two so i was like yeah uh, yeah i was wondering if they didn't notice yeah i was kind of wondering too yeah. well unless, unless she's like camouflaged in the foliage i was like uh yeah i bet right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's okay though we're we're cool with her it's all good <laughs> that's good it's hard it's always hard you know like how people come yeah people come and go i i I've, I've told people with with the changes in tsunami bomb i've told them like look when i started the band in 98 i hoped that everybody that started it with me would stay in it but we've had nine guitarists and three singers <laughs> <laughs> and two yeah. bassists because i left for a while and two drummers okay and i think we've only had one keyboard yeah. player <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's very rare to have a band stay the same lineup the whole time that they, you know, are a band. Very rare. Yeah, it's just it's just how it, how it works out. Well, that sounds like a great yeah. that's a great story of a first show. You have you have a great mixture of like triumph and with a huge crowd that liked the songs, and then you have like panic and terror. <laughs> yeah, with, we have. <laughs> And even a little bit of sex with a random makeout session in the back. That's pretty good. That's a very, this is a good start. This is a great story. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if that was the first show and you guys survived it and you wanted to keep playing, what, what would have been like one of the better shows that you guys have ever played? Cause... Um, well, I, um, I think our best show was um, we played Noise Pop in, oh, I don't know, it was like a couple years ago. Um, I can't remember what year exactly, but we, um, we opened for best coast and, um, that was really fun. Yeah. It was, that one was sold out for sure. Um, and we've been fans of, you know, their band for a long time. So we're really excited to get to play that show with them. Um, the crowd was just really into the show and it was just like a good energy. Um, and then of course it's always great to get to watch a band that you love after you play. So, yeah. um, yeah, that was a really fun night. It also felt crazy afterwards because it was Best Coast and it was like there were a bunch of and noise pop people there like taking pictures. So once we got off stage, they were like, oh, stand there, stand there. We'll take your picture. And we were like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, it's weird. Like, pop who are we? Do you but... know who we are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, cool. 
it's funny how that works, but I mean, it seems like you guys just from from the exterior watching like you guys as a band, it does seem like things have come together really well, like overall, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not in your band, so I don't see the ups and downs. But I mean, just from the outside, it seems like your band is like really done well. Like the the people who discover it seem to really love it. I mean, I did. So it's like, and I haven't well, shown you guys to anybody who didn't like it. Like everybody likes it. So it seems well, like. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, I feel like we're fortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, I I mean, it's always hard to know who who really likes the music. You know, like there's always like people that will reach out and like send messages or things like that. But sometimes it's hard to gauge that. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm glad to hear that everyone you've shown likes the music, and I do feel like we've been. <laughs> since we started i mean it's it's been fun honestly we just we're just just friends we're just friends we just want to hang out and play music and have fun really yeah (laughs) well yeah and i mean it's like it's gotten a pretty good run i mean you guys started in 2013 and i mean it just seems like yeah it seems like it's consistently built the entire time and i'm excited to see this new uh, the the what what comes next um but yeah that i i love i love as much as it's fun to headline a show and be the center of attention and all that, it's I love opening for somebody bigger because <laughs> it's just not. Yeah, that. So do we. Yeah, yeah, especially well for us as not a big band, you know, like headlining is it hasn't really gone well for us the times that we have headlined. Um, really? Yeah, I definitely enjoy opening. Yeah, it's been I don't know, it's hit or miss. I mean, there've been a couple of good ones, but. Um, it's all about yeah. finding the right <laughs> openers who draw a lot <laughs> and get them to play the show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's but yeah. It, there there's it's there's a system to it. But yeah, no, I um I just I don't know. It, for, I know a lot of people, especially the first time you open for somebody, like like your first show, there's like this pressure you want to do well, you want everything to go well, but then later as you kind of continue as a band, I don't know, at least for me it's always like Oh, we're opening for so and so. Perfect, awesome, great. That's that's gonna yeah. be a crowd. And there's no yeah. pressure on us to like deliver the ticket sales or anything. We just gotta show up and yeah. play our songs and have a good time. I I love that. Yeah, it's more fun that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. So you guys definitely agree that on the on so that for both of you, it's the best show was definitely that Best Coast show. Where was that show at? Oh yeah, that was at Bottom of the Hill. Okay, I love Bottom of the Hill. I have a soft spot for that place. Yeah. I went. Yeah, we great. we played our. Favorite. It's your one of your favorites. Yeah, to watch and play. Yeah, I love that place. We went there. We headlined. We just played our last Bay Area, sh- one of our last Bay Area shows there, and it was so cute because we were in there and then we were just like talking as everyone's loading in and I look over at the, all the old calendars they have up and they had us up there from like 2000, 2001, oh, like, cool. like one of our first shows there. And I was like, Oh, Hey, I remember that. So, really up. Yeah. um, okay. So we have the first show and we have the best show. What was one of the <laughs> worst shows that you guys have had to perform on? Like what would be a story? That's of you, that? <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, I think it's unanimous. I have, I mean, <laughs> totally unanimous between me and you. <laughs> well, no, it's, okay, so I did think of another show. Oh, One yeah. of the shows in Oklahoma, I think, was really bad. But okay. maybe not as bad. Well, okay. We'll just go with the one we already talked about. The one where, uh, there was one where, like, nobody came. I don't know. Seattle. Seattle. No, that was okay, I thought. All right, well, let's just go know. with that. All right, so, um... <laughs> We played a show. Oh, I remember it. Okay. We can talk about both of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, tell um, anything you want to say. Yeah, okay. So, um, this show, it being bad, was not um, the fault of the promoter because we actually got added on really late in the game to the show. Um, so, that said, um, it was all hardcore bands. Um, and we headlined <laughs> this show. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> yeah. There's a mix. And we had show. And so, so those two things were already going against us. <laughs> um, and there was also, I think, like five bands that played that night. So we didn't actually play till like close to midnight, I think. Ugh, um, 
and two of us got too drunk to play. (laughs) That would be Cheyenne and Bailey. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So, yeah, yeah, drummer and bass can't really play in in rhythm. (laughs) Yeah, the rhythm section is out. (laughs) um, Yeah, that was weird. So we ended up, we played it, like, close to midnight, and, like, yeah, the Cheyenne and Bailey were both too drunk to really play. (laughs) And we're all just kind of, like, not feeling it at that point so we just like wanted to get it over with also the crowd was doing that weird thing where they're all up against the walls and no one was in the center yeah oh. that was awkward it's like the junior high <laughs> dance approach to everything like you're just like yeah. yep <laughs> i always tell yeah. people never yeah. never tell anybody to come up because they don't want to like you know i was like nah, I, just, <laughs> I always go like yeah, yeah just let them stay over there they don't want to they don't want to be up here like it's just I give up. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was probably our wish show. And then there was another one that was pretty bad. Oh, I thought of. Mm, okay. There's been many. <laughs> there was like. So we, we did. Um, <laughs> one time we played South by Southwest and we did that tour uh, from California, you know, Texas. Oh, yeah. Um, I know those freeways very well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, let me think. So there was a bike shop in Oklahoma oh, yeah. that we played at. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Um, and I don't know what went wrong with, like, this show, but, like, there was no PA system. It hadn't been promoted at all. Um, and it was just weird. And it was in a bike shop, um, which could be cool, but it just, I don't know. It was just a strange show. Pretty much we played for the bands. The bands just played for each other at that show. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> One show we got to play with Stargazer Lilies, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we played another band on Grave Face, Stargazer Lilies, played that show, and they're they're really cool. Um, so that was cool getting to play with them. Um, but, yeah, it was just a weird show. Like, uh, you know, no, nobody there, not set up well, just kind of funky. <laughs> Alexandra and Cheyenne from the band Night School. You can find out more about Night School at facebook.com Night School. Just drop the H and you'll find them. N-I-G-H-T-S-C-O-O-L on Facebook. If you want to know more about 3 Gigs, feel free to check out our website at 3gigspodcast.com to find extras and live footage of all of our guests, including Night School. You can follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram just by searching 3 Gigs Podcast. And you can let us know what you think of the show and who you would like to see as a guest in the future. If you're enjoying the show, please take a moment to review and rate the show on the 3 Gigs Podcast page over at iTunes, if you're a type of person that uses iTunes. It's a huge help in getting the word out, and I really appreciate it. The more positive reviews and ratings that we get, the more iTunes will show it to people that are looking for good music interview shows. (laughs) Our theme music for today was Casanova by Night School off of their album Blush. It's out now on Graveface Records. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Dominic Davi and this has been 3 Gigs Podcast. We'll see you next time.